Welcome back to our journey through wisdom literature. Wisdom is, uh, frankly, from God. Uh, wisdom is Jesus Christ, capital W, in a lot of your uh, Bibles as we walk through it. Um, also personified as she in the, in the feminine form in the Hebrew language. And so today we get to see that. We get to see the, uh, the greatness of wisdom, or frankly, the gift of wisdom. Uh, we are in chapter 3 of Proverbs, and in chapter 3 it's it's sectioned off into uh, a couple parts. We're going to take uh, verses 1 through 20, and it also has two parts. Uh, we get to see uh, the first part uh, coming through uh, verse 12, 1 through 12, and as we go into 1 through 12, it talks once again, this is the third address, uh, from the father to his son. And uh, it's, it's a quite interesting uh, first 12 verses because it has six different kind of teachings. It has different sayings uh, uh, from the father to the son uh, that as he uh, lives out, frankly, the acting wisely, that second concept of Proverbs, as he uh, has disciplined life, um, then he will walk in the fear of the Lord. Uh, and then also we get 13 through 20. 13 through 20 just lays out before us uh, the wisdom uh, that is, frankly, given to the son to be able to impart this discipline in his life. So it is a uh, understanding because uh, as we read through the first 12 verses, you might think to yourself, and the son might think to himself, wow, if I just do these things, this will prosper. If I just do these things, I can attain this kind of wisdom. But then 13 through 20 sets us straight, as the Bible always does, of being able to say wisdom is a gift from God. It is a counsel, not of the wicked, but it is a counsel of God. And it is a gift. It is warranted to the people that he uh, uh, warrants his spirit to be upon. And so with that, we understand that we are not able to achieve, we are not able to merit, uh, frankly, these acts of discipline. It is another gift from God. And so as we get to understand the concepts, once again, of Proverbs, this father to son, uh, we get to see the wisdom that comes from him living in that life, but where that wisdom comes from, from Jesus Christ, wisdom itself. And uh, that's uh, the synopsis of uh, chapter 3, 1 through 20. So let's go ahead and read that. And as I walk through it, I'll be able to uh, really talk through some of the parts um, as this is a really well-known uh, chapter, uh, really a couple verses in 5 and 6 are really, really well known uh, that we don't lean on our own understanding, but we uh, trust, uh, frankly, in the Lord. And uh, that is really setting us up for uh, verses 13 through 20. And so let's read chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Once again, he says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves. As a father, the son he delights in. So we get to see in those first 12 verses once again, of uh, we get to see that if he follows these commands, as he puts them on his heart and he ties them around his neck, just wears them in his daily life and his discipline of daily life, uh, he will prosper. Frankly, he will be able to trust the Lord. He will be able to uh, honor the Lord uh, with his wealth um, and being able to see how that will just overflow in abundance. If he follows these commands, these things will happen. How is he able to follow these commands fully, continually in his discipline of everyday life? Because he is granted wisdom. That's the next verses here. Verses 13 through 20. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. For she, wisdom, is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She, wisdom, is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, 
In her left hand are riches and honor. And this is a beautiful picture of being able to see Christ once again. Long life is in her right hand. What is in the right hand of God the Father Almighty, or frankly, in Jesus Christ? Salvation. And so, long life is in her right hand. You better believe it. Eternal life is in her right hand. In, in wisdom's left hand are riches and honor. We get to see the right hand of the kingdom of God. We see the left hand of the kingdom of this world. And uh, frankly, in the left hand, we get to see riches and honor. That God has blessed us in this earthly life, but that God will bless us in eternal life. Great two hands here of wisdom. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drop the dew. Where does wisdom come from? Wisdom comes from the Lord. And as we fear the Lord, that is the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom sets in place our act and discipline in, in uh, wisdom living. We live in wisdom because God has granted us that so that we can prosper, so that we can be blessed, so that we can trust him, honor him, and praise him. And so I pray that you trust, honor, and praise him this day as you've been given a gift of this day to live and act and be disciplined in the wisdom of Jesus Christ. He loves you and he always will.